Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to set the resource dependencies with Azure Biceps configuration. We'll have a demonstration with the help of one of the Azure resource, such as the Azure App Service or the web app. And then we'll learn how do you set up the dependencies with the different options available within the Azure Biceps. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching PLRA. So let's take an example Azure web app with our demonstration. We'll see how to configure the web app with Azure Biceps and we'll look at in which scenario we might require to set up the dependency with Azure Biceps and what are the different options available. First of all, I have this Visual Studio code open and this is my GitHub repository which I'll be using for this demonstration. The code for this repository is already available in the GitHub. The link is provided in the description. So let's first of all create a Biceps resource or the Biceps resource file. Let's call it as a web app dot biceps. That's the bicep file which we are going to use. Now we need to create the web app. We know that to create a web app, we need certain number of resources. For example, we need to have the app service plan to create the web app. So first of all, we'll create the app service plan as a resource. So I'll type in RES and then I'll search app service plan or the web form app plan. So this is the app service plan resource. And this is the resource block for creating the app service plan. And these are the least number of properties which I could have. So I could have the app service plan name as a parameter, for example, and then I may want to set the parameter as the what I would like to do here. I'll set the parameter type. For now, we'll use the standard S1 capacity as is. I'll just remove this. So this is our app service plan. Now, next we would create the. Now let's create. A web app so i'll use the web app and that will that's the web app block and here we can basically set up the web app name so i'll again create another parameter app service name and i'll call it as a web so it will create a unique string and then we'll append a suffix as a web similarly location will remain same tags I'll leave it as is so app service plan. So the option for creating a, a implicit dependency, our very first option to set the dependency here is as our web app has a dependency on this app service plan. So if I set up the web form server form ID as an app service plan ID, then the ARM template for this biceps code will automatically set up the dependency knowing that the web application has the dependency on the app service plan because we are using the property of the app service plan in the web app resource block so this is one of the way it will implicitly set up the dependency automatically so we don't need to do anything right that's the option number one now let's look at the second option to set the dependency or to set the implicit dependency first of all for that i will create a resource type as in let's say network config i would like to set up a network configuration for within this particular web application and we'll use this network configuration option i will choose the api and then with the required properties so with this required property we'll give it a name called the network here we will use the properties option to specify some of its properties and with this property we need to specify two properties one is the swift connection and the other one is about the, the subnet id so let's say i have the subnet id variable provided though i can read the subnet id as the existing subnet id what i will do is i will use the existing resource subnet resource block I'll provide the parameters. Similarly, I'll use this configuration because we want to set the 
this configuration only if this value has been provided and then we will use the id here two things we have done one is we have used the resource block which is an existing subnet block we are reading the properties of ex existing subnet block from our virtual network and then from that subnet block we are using the id property of that subnet which we are specifying it here next we uh we want to set up this configuration to this web application okay and to do that we need to specify okay this configuration is a uh, applicable on which resource block and that's where the dependency we are going to set up and in the, in such cases we can set up a dependency with the help of a resource property called parent and then here we can specify the parent name is app service or the web application so this is going to be a parent and once you do that basically this resource block which is a resource network configuration will understand that this configuration will be applicable on to this resource block which is the web application so here it says that the name expected value is the virtual network so we have to provide the name as a virtual network that's the name it is required now if you look at now just to revise option number one we have set up the implicit dependency like this for accessing one of the property for the dependent resource and to set up the dependency similarly we have done for the existing resource here we have created a new resource at the same block but here we are using uh, already available resource block which is subnet and we are accessing the property it's just same thing and the second option which we have done is the basically we have basically set up that create the network configuration for this web application with the parent specifying this now what it will do it will set up a network dependency and we can check here with the help of graph so this is a graph icon available with visual studio code and we can visualize the change here with the graph what changes it's going to be it's going to deploy basically so we have the subnet which we are reading we are setting up a network configuration we are applying the network configuration onto the web application and web application has a dependency on the app service plan so if you have the web app then if you go to the networking section and within the networking if you go to the access restriction and that's where you set up the access restriction to any of the virtual network subnet and that's what we are trying to do with with this particular source code block which is the network configuration so if you do have any requirement to set up a swift connection with within the, your web app this is the code block you can use it okay so this is how you can set up a dependency now one other way to set up a dependency i'm just giving you an example you can use a dependency key keyword so let's me take an example of app insight for example i would like to create an app insight resource block insights and then insight component for example so this is what we are saying that we need to create the app insight component and here it provides uh, it asks for the app insight so i'll say resource group look now the other way could be to uh, to set the dependency as i said this is you use the depends on block and this is the collection property so you can use the depends on block and provide the uh, dependencies of the different resources for example you can set up a dependency of the web application so this app inside block will only be provisioned if this web application block will provision and we know that web application block has a dependency on app service block so now if i check the graph again this is how it will look like there you go so these two resources are waiting for this to complete and this is actually waiting for app service plan to complete and this is just a read block reader block okay i hope you have understood the point of using the dependencies with depends on block with parents block or the parent property or with the help of assigning a child blocks property to the dependent resource if you find this configuration useful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel I have, as I mentioned earlier, 
I do have the code posted on the GitHub link. So if you want, you can refer the code from there. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.